Hey, this is Horner, and I'm going to go through and show you how to do the sticky tape lab. It's pretty simple to do. You're going to take one piece of tape about this long, uh, go ahead and stick it down on the surface of the table, and then you've got to fold over a little piece here in order to make sure that you can pull it up pretty easily. That's what we call the base tape, and then we're going to take another piece and we're going to stick it on top, and because it's on top, we call that the top tape. So I'm going to, now that I have it and it folded over, I'm going to mark it as a T, and that's the top, and then this is B for the base tape. So I'm going to do one more set. Now that we have our tapes down, next thing we're going to do is take the top tape, and pull it off. So we'll pull it off pretty quick and we'll set that top tape right here and notice that it's already attracted to the wood. So we'll go ahead and see if we can get it to stick. Yeah, we can. We're going to take the other top tape and we're going to get it close to the first top tape. So I'm going to take this and just get it close to that first top tape and you'll notice that they do repel each other. So they're pushing each other apart, which is what is supposed to happen. Now we'll take a bottom tape and we'll try to get it close to that top tape. Let's see what happens. So bottom tape and the bottom tape, when I get it close to the top tape, you'll notice that they do attract each other. We'll put this bottom tape over here and then we'll take the other bottom tape and let's see how the two bottom tapes interact. So this bottom tape, when I get it close to the other bottom tape, you'll see that they again do repel a little bit. And that's what we want to see with the top and the bottom tapes. I now have a piece of aluminum foil and a piece of paper. And I'm going to start with another piece of paper. And I'm going to get this paper close to the other piece of paper. And you'll see there's absolutely no interaction between the two. Let's try the aluminum foil and the aluminum foil. And when I get those close to each other, there's no interaction at all. Let's try something different. Let's go ahead and put a, both a top and a bottom tape right up here. So you'll notice that this one is pretty, pretty staticky. has a lot of static to it. And the bottom tape, we will put it right next to it. And we'll try to keep them apart just a little bit. And we know that they attract. We've already done that. So they're both ready to go. Let's see what happens when we start to use top tapes so here's a top tape, and let's see what happens when we get it close to aluminum foil. When you get the top tape close to aluminum foil, you notice that they do attract each other. Let's do the same thing with the paper, and we want to get it close to the paper. It's not as strongly attracted, but it does attract. You can see that. Top tape and top tape, they do repel each other. In fact, that one pushed that one all the way back, and then the top and the bottom tape do attract each other. So we'll go ahead and pull this top tape back off and stick it back so we can see the interaction. And now we'll take a bottom tape and let's get it close to the aluminum foil. And when we do that, you see that, ah, it attracts again. So that's what most people don't see. So that one does attract. We have a bottom tape and the paper and they weakly attract, so not as strong. Bottom and the top, these should attract and they do. And then the bottom and the bottom tapes should repel each other, and they do. So that's just testing paper, aluminum foil, and the top and the bottom tapes. In the last part of this lab, we're going to use a PVC or a rubber rod, and we also have some fur, and we're going to rub the two together, and in your lab you'll read what kind of charge the rod picks up, so you'll have to look at that. And then let's try an interaction with each one of our papers there, uh, the foil, the paper, and the two tapes. When I take the rod that's already been charged and I get it close to the aluminum foil, you'll notice that it does attract the aluminum foil. When I get close to the paper, it slightly attracts the paper. There's not a huge attraction there. So let's go ahead and charge this a little bit more and make sure that we see the interaction. So when we get it close to the paper, it does slightly attract the paper. The top tape, it 
attracts the top tape and the bottom tape it actually pushes it away. So there's the top tape again coming right towards it and then the bottom tape is pushed away by that rubber rod. The next thing that we'll do is we have a lucite or a glass rod and this rod when we try to put some electrons on it or take them off, one of the two, you'll have to look at your lab to see which one's happening. Um, we're going to try to get it close to the aluminum foil and let's see what happens. When we get this close to the aluminum foil, you'll see that there is an attraction. When we charge it up again here and then put it on the paper, there is an attraction. It's very slight. You can kind of see it moving a little bit. There's that attraction towards the paper. We'll have to charge it again. It's very difficult to keep the charge on the glass rod. So we'll go ahead and let's see what happens with the top tape. It pushes the top tape away and it definitely pulls the bottom tape towards it. So it's attracted. And that is all the data that you need in order to complete the lab.